Hey everyone, I've got a great lesson for you today. A lot of times I get emails and one of the constant ones is how to deal with that dreaded high backhand. And that is a very difficult shot to handle and there's a couple of different ways that you can practice it. And today we're going to show the two-handed backhand. Maybe another time we can make a lesson on the one-hander, but we're really going to be focusing on the footwork with this video. So essentially it doesn't matter if you have a one-hander or a two-hander, you can use this specific footwork pattern. Now this is pretty advanced, but I definitely want to show everyone because some of you out there are going to be able to do it and some of you might not be able to do it, but that's okay. We're all going to learn. We're going to figure out this together how we can get better. So let's get right into this lesson. It's the back to front footwork pattern. And basically what's going on is when the ball comes very high and it's moving you back in the court, you want to run back and you want to load your outside leg and then you're going to take the ball at about shoulder height. You're going to take the ball here because the ball is high and you're going to switch your feet to the front foot. So basically you're going to swing by pushing off the outside leg and landing on the front leg. So we call that the back to front footwork pattern. Now I was just talking to uh, my partner earlier, Eric, who's behind the camera right now. And he was saying when he was a kid, he was told not to jump. So he's 12 years old and he's back here going like this. But the cool thing is that if you're 10, 11, 12 years old and you learn how to move like this, it's a much more elegant way to play tennis. It's much more effortless. And so we actually teach this way to move because the whole idea is to be a dancer on the tennis court. You want to be moving like a dancer and you want to be graceful. So I'm going to have Max in a second come in and show us how he does the back to front. And I'm going to finish the lesson by giving you a demonstration of myself doing it. Okay, I've got Max in position. He's ready to go hitting the back to front backhand diagonally moving back into the court. And you'll see that I'm going to be tossing balls from this angle here just because it's a little bit easier for me to create that, create that angle for him. And then he's just simply going to be pushing off his back foot, switching to his front foot. He's done this a lot, so he looks pretty good doing it. And I got to feed that ball a little bit deeper so it pushes him back more. So notice. I